Hello! In this video we'll show you the electronic airway bill, also called the e-airway bill, its benefits and how to use it in your Magaya system. So what is the airway bill? Why do you need it? This is becoming the new standard. IATA, the International Air Transport Association, is working with airlines and airports worldwide to make it easier to send information to the airlines about the cargo you want to ship. It will reduce costs of paper, printing hardware and courier expenses. It will also reduce errors and data entry. Magaya worked with IATA and another technology partner to connect you to your airlines. Let's see how it works with Magaya. First of all, here are the requirements. You will need a Windows Server 2008 or newer, or if you're using a desktop operating system, it'll have to be Windows Vista or more recent than that. You will also need a Magaya version 10.4 or newer, and you will need to sign something that's called a multilateral agreement with IATA. This is something you can do online. Let's click here and see how it looks. So they estimate here it will take 10 to 15 minutes and it's a simple online form. Finally, you will need the eAirway Bill plugin itself activated with Magaya and you can contact your sales representative or our tech support for that. So let's see how to set it up in Magaya. In the configuration menu, you'll have an electronic airway bill setting and once you've set up with Magaya we'll give you a code to enter into this field. You'll have to check enable e airway bill. One more thing is to decide which employees will have access to filing the e airway bill or setting it up since it will have a per transaction fee. Any employee with the permission groups administrators or exporters will have it enabled by default but for other employees you can set up two new roles in the system one is for filing the airway bill the other for configuring it again it's only needed if these employees are not in the group administrators or exporters already now you're ready to file when you create an air shipment domestic or international export shipment you send the e-airway bill from the actions menu within the shipment. Let's look at the process for a straight shipment first. Here I have a straight shipment. I'll, I've already pre-filled the commodities, entities, routing information so we're just going to take a look at how to file the e-airway bill. Under the actions menu there's a new item, the airway bill. I'll click on airway bill here. All the information from your shipment is filled into the airway bill document form, which looks like your regular airway bill. So we can check for errors and try to file it. I'll click send. And then I will get an error message the required field is missing or has an invalid value. And indeed, as I can see, I have some fields highlighted in red here that are missing. So I can go and fix this information. Contact person here is John Smith. And my consignee And as I can see, now the errors have been corrected. I'll click send again and get a message that my e-airway bill has successfully been posted. Let's look at filing a consolidation next. As you can see, I have set up a consolidated shipment and I'll follow the same process. From the master view of the shipment, I'll click actions e-airway bill and there are two options now. First I can file my master to the airline, verify that there are no errors, click send. I get a message that the airway bill has been successfully posted. And then also from the master here 
I can file the individual airway bills for all the houses on this consolidation. The validation screen will look a little different and I can verify house by house if there are any errors and click send get another successful transmission message. Now what about the results? Um, if we go back to our first airway bill we filed we'll see that the results window has given us a confirmation and also there will be an event with a cargo status update and a transaction ID posted. If you want to see the results of all the airway bills that you filed there is also a separate folder for it in the messages folder in your Magaya network called Air Carrier Messages and here I have an overview of all the communication between our database and the airlines. Now some airlines send acknowledgments, some do not. It depends on how far along they are in the process. If they find an error and send an error notice you can correct it and file again. For example, going back to the same shipment and filing now will display a text at the top right amendment, which means I'm filing an amendment to an existing airway bill that I've already filed with the airline. And that is it. Just a quick recap. You need to sign up with Magaya and with the IATA multilateral agreement. You need to activate the plugin. You need to configure it in the configuration menu. Create your shipment file from the actions menu click send and you're done. If you don't have the eAirway bill active yet for your Magaya account contact us. Be sure to check the knowledge base in your page 1 for step-by-step -step article for this and all other software processes of ours. Thank you.